Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? And we are finally, do I look at the camera, do I look at the screen? I don't know, it's like two different things right here. I'll take a picture of it and show y'all what I mean. What is up, YouTube is your boy, IJ, and we are finally here, and I'm finally here to break down the video that y'all haven't really been asking for, but it got a decent amount of views. It should've got more views, but it got a decent amount of views. It was pretty simple, pretty one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve steps. But uh, basically, uh, the first thing I did was I got my video. So I got the the uh, you know the famous trailer that dropped like a couple of days ago. I got that. It wasn't really that hard. I literally just typed in Star Lord clips on Guardians of the Galaxy, and the first thing that popped up was him off and his dad. <laughs> After I got both my clips, we went to Adobe After Effects and poured both of them. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. It took me like a total of one day to finish this whole edit. And uh, I don't remember everything that I did to T. I I never do because, uh, yeah, my memory is shot. Almost like his dad. Oof. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and just open up the video that I had before. So my most recent edit of it. I'm missing one scene from the project. I think it's because I record. So I don't know. But yeah, I'm just going to open up the original edit and want to show everything. I'm just going to break it, basically break it down like that. Okay, so now that we have our clips, we obviously have to do the first things first. We have to remove the unnecessary characters, which is dead. But it seemed like Chris Pratt did that on his own. I take the clip to the point where it happens, the scene where they're interacting with each other. So that's around right here where he turns his back. And boom, we do that. Now, I'm going to cut the clip in half and then cut out the unnecessary parts of the beginning. So if anyone was a beginner on After Effects, it has this cool tool that can allow you to basically mask out a person without the need of like doing anything else. Like you literally just cut the person out with the pen tool. You click mask, click M on the keyboard to hit mask, bring the mask up. Then you want to hit subtract and you want to keyframe the path on the dude so basically anytime you see his dad pop up on the, oh well i forgot this clip is two parts but we'll do the first part so anytime you basically see his dad pop up on the screen you're going to mask it out and i understand that it's covering chris pratt but don't worry we'll, we'll deal with that later so you cut him out and then you keyframe it so it's going to be pretty sloppy i'm gonna go fast with this because it's not really this is a tutorial it's more of a breakdown of how i did it but yeah you basically mask him out all the way you know, it's going to be a sloppy mask, da da da, mask them out. It could be a lot more perfect, obviously, but after you have them masked out, what you want to do is you want to take your, your top timeline bar and move it to the end of the one scene. Now, you don't have to do it like this, but this is how I do it. Uh, one thing about editing and After Effects that I love is that uh, there's multiple ways to do multiple things. After you have a masked out, you're going to go to your right-hand side, and if you have the default layout set up, you should be go be able to go under tracker. You see content aware field. Now this is the most recent After Effects that I have, the most updated one. So once you hit content aware field, boom, you hit generate field later, generate field layer, and you're done. So yeah, it's not perfect, but this is what we got right now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a 3D render that I rendered in 3ds Max. We'll go back to that later. And I took a, basically a screen of his back. <sighs> Anyways, I basically put it over the field layer. And why you when you do that, given that browser is such a swole boy, big swole, given that browser is so big, he basically covers up the entire field. So this is one of those things that just works together. Now, obviously, in this one, you still see him in the background, but it's not a perfect mask. I didn't do a perfect mask. If I did a perfect mask, it would be a lot better. Now, obviously... We gotta add a little bit more. What do you wanna add? The Mario hat. Oh yeah! We gotta give our Italian brother the essence, the, the king of Italy, his attire. We have to. And we're going to take the tracker on the left, on the right hand side again. Sorry, I meant right. Left, right, left. On the right side, we're gonna take the tracker tool and we're gonna click track motion. It's right above the content uh, aware field. And then go to layer, new, null object. Click his video again, hit edit target, go down to the layer, click null 6 or whatever layer the null is, and we're going to track his face. Okay, now after that tracking is done, you're going to hit right here at the bottom, you hit apply, and then going, it should say X and Y, if it says anything else, change it to X and Y, hit OK. We're going to go and take our Mario hat, just get off Google or some shit, and place the hat right on top of the pizza lord. And then when you hit no, guess what? 
is tracked to his head. Now we're gonna do the next scene. How did I get Bowser in there? <sighs> hit this little man with the brush right here called the rotoscope tool. <sighs> the rotoscope tool, the man with the brush, and we're gonna double click the video. And then you basically just paint him out. Do it as good as you want. Like I said, it's a tutorial. I have to keep reminding y'all that because I'm not, I'm not, I, I promise you I'm not being lazy. He's basically roll scoped out. And I basically just did the same thing I did for the other scene and just took him out and put Bowser in. And that was it. And uh, yeah, you put all that together and you got this. You said you loved my mother. <laughs> I do not. What? <laughs> Stay tuned next time.